Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. As a very quick uh, recap, we have the Priest class being researched, that's going to be 2 days 11 hours. We have another craft, let's cancel that body armour because we've actually made some of that. Uh, we have another craft uh, being made complete with armour plates and two Marauder Cannons. This is going to be our primary um, defence against most things. I, I'm very much looking forward to getting it out there. Uh, we have a helmet for our new engineer uh, being developed first. And actually, while I think about it, I did want to make some uh, technician arms so that we have them available. The ability to remove mine fragger, it's nice. That's not really why we're doing it, though. These have more functions. Restoring hit points to mechanical devices. Removing paralysis. It's good to have an engineer on the team. Uh, and I think engineer priests are really where things are going to be for us. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm getting distracted. So uh, we're about to take out this flyer over here with our wonderful battle hawk. Hopefully it's got enough in the tank to be able to do that in one go. The Alpha team is coming up here to do some exploration and the Beta team is somewhere over this neck of the woods heading down towards Energize This. Uh, we know that there is a Pandora nest of some kind over here so we do want to be aware of this, uh, this area. And we've got a hell of a lot of trading that we need to do because we are poor! So that is our recap, let's proceed. Starting straight off with a bit of combat. And we're, hmm, the temptation to just go straight for the uh, the centre is is definitely there. But I think we will go for the name Palm Breath first, like we did last time. So, name Palm Breath, name Palm Breath. Let's speed this up. That is accurate, actually. We could focus on the ram. Or we could focus on the body at this point. I think focusing on the body is going to be our best bet and we'll disengage and come back. So I'll slow it down a bit as we get closer so we've got a chance to disengage. But we might be able to kill this before it hits us. There we go. Battlehawk did its job. Everyone likes us for that because it was over an independent haven. This is helping us to recover some of that Sanhedrin rep. Uh, and we got 300 materials, so definitely a worthwhile recovery. Right, so in terms of what we could do next, we could do tech for, tech for materials down here, which is, it's not as efficient as doing tech for materials over this side. I think we'll swing back and we'll do some some like food for material trading in other places. So we'll go go around these again. We were heading north originally, but I don't want to abandon the behemoth. It's about to go below the uh, below the waves, but right now it's not doing that. The bridge exploration site. Our operatives are set down on a bridge in the middle of nowhere. It looks like a group of people tried to start up a haven here building out from underneath the bridge. But the construction has been left unfinished. Either they were killed or they decided to move on. Not much left, but we got some materials and a little bit of food. So that is definitely welcome. There are going to be other havens and other points of interest between us and this. So we'll stop off at the new Jericho one. We can potentially... Mm, materials for tech is really not efficient at new Jericho havens. Where is the Sinevian Haven where we can... Right. So, 8 materials for 2 tech versus 10 materials for 2 tech. So, I don't think we'll actually end up trading that direction. We could do materials for food. I think it's probably better we just visit it and use it to find other, other points of interest nearby. Uh, so, the Aurora and the Gust Rider. There we go. 
we can do some trading of food for materials just over here. Let's uh, let's swing around this direction. Food for materials, looking a fair bit better. We'll do the well. That one hasn't regened yet. We could do food for materials up here though, and it keeps us in the right right area. Explore this on the way. Construction complete. Hey, right. Satellite uplink at Phoenix Bravo and the... Uh, that's Phoenix Echo. Phoenix Bravo, I think, was over the other side. Um, that's going to allow us to continue expanding our map and actually see what's going on. We are going to want to um, activate other bases, but we're going to need more materials, really, to do that. Potentially, we could do this one might be jumping the gun a little. You know what, it's fine. We're, we're making a decent number of materials. So if we activate this one, it doesn't already have a satellite dish. So we're going to need another 250 on top of whatever we spend and repair the energy generator. It's going to be expensive. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Pricey, pricey. There's the satellite uplink note. We've still got enough to be able to afford stuff. And when I say stuff, it's a very generic stuff. Let's uh, demolish the trading facility because we're never going to use it. So this will start fleshing out over time. One thing that I, uh, I was considering doing is um, we're going to need our uh, bionics lab and mutation lab as soon as possible. So we need to make sure that we've got spaces available in our defendable uh, bases in order to manage that. Okay, you can go ahead and explore this. By the time the rest of the team catches up, it'll be good. And there we go, trading food for materials. Bring that number back up. Really, really not keen on the behemoth being so close by. Like, I want to go up here and do some food for tech. But it does get us far away. Do it and then we'll swing back south. Disappointing use of the pause button there by me. Okay, uh, so our operatives have located an abandoned military outpost. It's unclear which nation's military it belonged to, since this region's government fractured heavily during World War III. All available resources have been recovered. No additional information regarding the site has come to light. So we got some materials, we got some tech, and we got some food. That's given us our numbers back. And there is a Sinedrian Haven that is being attacked by the pure. We need to bring everyone across to stop this. So you guys are on your way. Before we go too far into that, we're going to give you your helmet. Does put your encumbrance just a bit too high, but we can... We can cheat. We can cheat and make that work. Let's give you your, your PDW first of all. I do want you to have a shotgun in case you get in close because it is going to be, end up being more efficient. So overall that's 120 damage for two action points and this is 300 damage for two action points. So as nice as the, uh, the VDM is, the VDM is just a better pistol in a lot of situations. Right, they are on their way. Where is this phase two? Phase two is actually up in this this direction, so we can send the team across to do that. It's not a terrible idea. In the meantime, we wanted to continue moving. <clears throat> so Gust Rider and Aurora, you come across this way, we'll do some trading. That's a lot of food going out, but a lot of materials coming in. And I think we'll explore this site down here next. How is our research coming along? Freeze class is one day, 22 hours away. 
our next Thunderbird is nearly ready. So at the very least, we'll be able to have at least one loitering around. And when that's not happening, we'll be able to move around and do trading, which is going to be our, our primary objective. Come and explore this. Battlehawk has made it in for the trading, so we're going to go... Oh, can't afford that in food. Let's do material for... T uh, material for tech is never efficient. Let's... Let's do some food for tech. I want to keep some food left over. And we'll swing back down to an Anu place to trade for... We could do tech for food up here, actually. Still sort of in the... Right, we could do tech for food down here. That is going to be much better. Tech for food down here, heading directly towards the behemoth. <laughs> 12 pure we know you uh, we need both craft but this is this is going to be a hard fight i reckon how do you like them apples exploration site the gust rider has landed in an open field next to rows and rows of apple trees the buildings nearby have been abandoned and the whole place has been neglected for quite a while Initial testing on the apples indicates that they're unfit for human consumption, as they've been affected by the Pandora virus. While they look normal on the outside, on the inside they contain internal organs closely resembling those of a crab. Uh, we don't need to inform the disciples. Burning it down isn't going to make New Jericho like us, so let's search the area. A nearby abandoned farmhouse contains a few things we can use. That's that's actually probably the best outcome we could have got from that. We'll go to this site next. We could potentially like start exploring the antediluvian ruin on the way through. So Gust Rider and Aurora come down here. But before we even hit that, we're going to have to defend Sinedrin. This is going to be good. It's going to give us... 10 extra Sinedian, uh, Sinedian? Sinedrian rep, um, which is really, really significant at this point. Ruby, you are staying behind, but everyone else is good to go. Uh, although, I have noticed that I've been forgetting, or f forgetting is probably the wrong term. I've not been giving everyone... Medkits. And I really should be giving everyone medkits. So you get a medkit, you're going to need a little bit more strength in order to carry it, but that's, that's sensible. You probably don't need that much ammo, but I'd rather have extra than not enough. Hick, you also need a medkit. One more strength so you can carry it. And this has the, the benefit of giving them extra hit, <coughs> extra hit points as well from the initial strength. You've got a med kit. You've got a med kit. You've got a med kit. No med kit on Isaac. One more strength. There is your med kit. Really, you need another one as well. All right, let's do it. It's your reduced carry weight. That's, that's really what's... Uh, What's killing it? I'm pretty certain it was you that had the reduced carry weight. No, it's just we've given you the um, the auto cannon as well. It is massively heavy. Becky, you've got to make it. Bull, you've got to make it. Ruby, you're not coming with us, right? That is everyone all medded up. I'll probably want to go through and salvage some of this stuff later, but for now, let's send them in. Now, coming in for this uh, this mission is actually going to put us in a much better place for going after the new Jericho Phase uh, Phase 2 mission. Phase 1? Phase 2? The, the next one where we, we capture the AI from the abandoned vehicle. Okay, uh, so we have two key problems. We have Sinedrian Defenders uh, and we have the Pure. We're going to want to identify where they are, and I suspect most of them are going to be over this side and over this side. Sinedrian Defenders could end up being anywhere, uh, but we're really going to want to scout as much as possible they can't stop me. and have a liberal use of 
are um, decoys. So we're facing a Sinedrian squad called the Glorious Monkeys. That's a cool squad name. Their leader is Miller using Blood Frenzy. When any high-ranking character dies, the allies gain Frenzy. All right. That is... That is acceptable. I think we'll immediately get a decoy out, but I'll let everyone else move in first. We can we can get Becky pretty close while still having stealth. And most people I'm gonna move up to like inside the buildings while we establish where things are. We do want to uh, have a look at the uh, the location for the crates. There's one in the building right next to us and one right over the far side because grabbing Sneed Drink Kit is always going to be welcome and it looks like there's only the two crates. Ready. Getting into this... Uh, apparently there is no way up onto this building. No, the upper floor has has no actual steps leading up to it. We're going to have to jump someone up to it. Okay, not a problem. Um, just not what what we were expecting. Potentially a civilian down below, but also potentially some I see them. proper trouble. Oh yeah, more Sinedrian defenders. Okay, let's let's not Moving be somewhere the they can shoot us. Knowing that they're there is oh my word, this is huge! Look at all this stuff. We'll take that. We'll take the spider drone. EMP grenade could be very useful against um against the pure. I mean, I'd, I'd be tempted to use it just for the for the novelty, and there's three more things. So, really want to get someone else up here. Ready to go to work, Isaac. If we were to jump you up, maybe on the roof. That'll take two action points, which will take you down to six. So you could do two quick aims next turn. Loud and clear. <laughs> Sorry, three action points, which will take you down to five. So if we do a hunker down, you can do hunker down and then quick aim. So we can move you into a better position. Like here, I think. That's actually a pretty good place. Somewhere where we can get grenades down onto everything. We'll keep uh, the Deceptor out. Hunker down. So if someone shoots at you, you should be able to return fire. Okay, Becky, you haven't been seen yet, so we can still keep moving in a bit. There is our first person of the pure. Their leader is Vickers. Uh, so the Glorious Eagles using a starting volley. Allies first attack with firearms will cost one AP less. They're not going to be particularly perceptive, but we're going to want to uh, get ourselves in a position where we've got options. Oh, and they, there is a lot of them right in the centre. Okay. Repos Another one right down the end. I'm glad that Becky's able to see all of these. Oh, and we've been seen now. Okay. So that means... The sniper must be either really perceptive or close enough. Either way, we don't have stealth anymore. So our choices are get back behind cover or... Oh my word. This is going to be messy. So, so messy. Let us get a decoy out right now we hope that uh, Becky doesn't get targeted 
I'm prepared. And we need to bring other people forward to a place where they're going to be able to fight effectively. So let's get Hick in here because Hick's got the uh, the shotgun. I'd be tempted to actually go here and, and do some Overwatch shenanigans, but I think for this first turn it's probably not going to be as helpful. So tucking in there will be fine enough. Bowl, we can get you all the way to the back. That should be protected enough from most of the incoming fire. Xavier, I'm actually really tempted to move you inside the building. Pushing on. Do a bit of dashing. Like if we if we dash you to here, you'll be able to see what's going on and then maybe get back behind cover in a better place. We got to keep going. Okay, it's a Sibby. So I feel I feel better about that, just aware of the fact that they're going to come through. If we back up, that door should close. So tuck in here, just in case. And last but not least, is going to be our lovely turret-wielding friend. And I think we're going to have to bring you up to here and maybe like step out, drop it off and step back Moving for it to be way. effective. I can't wait until you can throw it. When you throw it, that will be that will be the greatest place we can be. For right now though, um let's let the madness reign. Connection established. So, Sinedrian, what are you doing? We know you've got at least three guys. Taking cover ish. Oh. Shooting at my decoy. I'd rather you shot the pure, but. Those shields are going to start being annoying. And I do not think that that defender survived. <laughs> Most of the snipers are going to have pistols. The heavy, if we can take his arm out, will, will be straightforward to the same with the assault. But... We're going to get a lot of grenades down. <laughs> Decoy is doing exactly what it needs to be doing. Okay, this chap can barrel on through walls if he wants, or trees, which is actually kind of handy for us. Yeah, when they're clustered together like that, I'm not not upset about it. Oh. And there's one more heavy right at the back. There's so many pure on this mission. My god. another sniper as well. Right. From the top. Grenades. Grenades, grenades, grenades. Boom. 
reasonably accurate. So we're definitely going to focus on these back to... Let's try and go for it like that. We hit everyone on it. I like it. If we take out your arm, you can't fight. If we take out your arm, you can't fight. If we take out your arm, you can still fight. So we'd have to take you out. You out. Becky. I think your best bet is going to be putting out a decoy. I think that's, that's where we need you to be applied. Bowl. Taking aim. Can you see this guy's arm? A little bit, but not really. And that shield is in really good state. Ready. Pick. This hasn't shot yet. We can step in, we can do two I'm on the move. Quick aim shots. It's going to get a decent amount of acid off. Target missed. No, we Not actually hit exactly where we needed it. Sorry, one quick aim shot and one regular shot, and then you can potentially step back. How much acid did it act? Did it get any acid applied on? No, the shield did not suffer from acid damage. That is unexpected. That is very unexpected. That kind of changes things. Arms online. Channel open. Let's step out and we'll throw the uh, the EMP grenade down. That's what we'll do next. First of all, come to here. Ah, uh, you are you are annoyingly close. We'll have to get someone else to deal with you. I need to get this EMP grenade off. I don't know who will get to deal with you. But you are not going to be helping by being there. Maybe if I step to here, that will be far enough to throw it over. Let's try this. So we're going to have to be at least one bit further back. Here goes. That's pretty effective. It's disabled his arm. It's disabled his arm, so he's down to pistols. I do not hate it. I do not like the fact that we're kind of stuck okay. here, but... Maybe we can... Ready. Do something else to help out. And now... Let's focus on the other tasks at hand. Got you a little present. So getting a turret out, Here I am. getting back into cover. Do this. Xavier. Yeah, knowing that this guy is up above is problematic. And the Sinedrian defenders aren't helping matters at all. We could potentially dash to get to here and maybe shoot this. No, that's that's gonna, not going to work either. We need to be up on top. Or disable his arm. Or we just end up tanking the shots. I mean, Kirsty's going to be able to tank them. 
Probably. Probably, probably. So maybe we don't need to worry it. too much. Uh, you can't fight, so there's no point in attacking you. Shooting you makes more sense. Shooting the one at the back doesn't help. Shooting the nearby one does help. Let's go for armor break. Try and take ah. take the shield down. So it's reducing our damage output, but it's increasing the shred. Pretty solid. All I need is a clear shot. Oh, you've got a decent shot on the arm, actually. Let's um let's go for one in the center. So that's some more damage on the shield as well, which is always appreciated. And we'll have to put the decoy out now. And after that, we can't really go on Overwatch. We could reposition, but I think you're probably better off staying where you are. Hick, rather than do another shotgun thing, I think we'll actually Overwatch you like this for when he moves. Mario, we're going to get a decoy forwards, I think. And you are hidden. Using. So we can afford to get a spider drone out as well. That's going to give us other options. So Becky, you're, you're effectively waiting. We could put out another decoy, but I think that's overkill. So you just stand by. Kirsty, I'm really sorry. You're going to have to just tank this. And Xavier, the only threat on this side is this one and the main Sinedrian person. We could dash, we could dash in up here and try and do something on this side because this is a solid wall. Never give up. So let's dash in. We are exposed on the side, but hopefully we've got enough stuff to to tackle that. I just need the right angle. Can we get your arm gone? I think we can. Hostile wounded, but, but active. Okay. And this civilian, you're going to be an ablative civilian. Definitely not the right way to use civvies. Uh, step away just to make it harder for them to hit. It's not going to be much harder, but it is going to be a bit harder. And we will go on Overwatch for this guy moving. Let's see how it goes. Not feeling confident about up top here. Hostile tagged. Scanners. Where are you going and what are you doing? Oh! Very cheeky angle. Why are you not going after the pure? Connection established. Oh, I did not see this coming. That's more oh. dangerous, but only only a little bit of damage. Here comes the Overwatches. Double shot. Gotta love it. Ooh. It's 
It's alright, St. Adrian didn't need that wall anyway. Yeah, you guys need to realise that I'm here to help you. God for decoys. So what I'd like is I'd like the um, EMP grenades to be loadable into grenade launchers. This guy's almost almost dead anyway. I got quite a lot of uh, will points back at the end there. So, what is next on our objectives? Getting more grenades down on these guys, primarily on the sniper. not massively accurate, not particularly helpful. Hop across. Let's not do the civilian next. I'm prepared. If we come round here, we're not quite gonna be able to get the angle I want to kill, well, we might be able to kill this guy actually. We've got enough damage output if we get lucky, but it is going to be if we get lucky. Mario, can you also get some shots on? Yes, you can. Okay, let's bring Mario across. All I need is a clear shot. Not target good. Missed. Confirming target. On the mark. Hey, that dazing will help. Turret's not going to help there, but it will help here. Bit of shredding on that shield. We're going to come in and get some some decent damage. Let's try this. Trigger on the trigger. It's not actually as much damage as I would have hoped. Standing by. Ready. Mario is still stealthed, so we could could do some jiggery pokery stuff. Or we just stand and, and fight because of the dazing. I think standing and fighting is fine. And then go that way so it's a little bit harder to get the angle on us. Right, this means we're in a better position Ready. to fight sort of. the sniper. I've got to focus. We're going to ignore this chap. We're going to ignore his friend. Can we get the... We can't quite get the angle because things have been destroyed slightly. So, civilian, you are going to be a bit of a distraction for us. Just walk to there. Xavier. I'm going to go for the nearby one. Let's move the civilian out of the way slightly. Trying to aim. It would be very good if we could get that. We'll do this as a quick aim so we've got more option for maneuvering. Right okay, got him in the torso. It's uh, it's not exactly the shot we wanted, but better than nothing. 
Okay. And actually, getting Xavier tucked in is probably going to be better than everything else. We'll pull the civilian back as well. There's no point in us exposing them unnecessarily. Oh, oh what can you see? You can see that chap, ignore. You can see that chap, maybe not ignore. You can see that chap, just about. You are more of a concern. You are a definite choice. Need to try again. Unfortunate. That looked like that was going to be a nice, clear one. All right, let's uh, let's do a wide overwatch for anything moving towards us. Uh, we can do the spider drone next, I think. It might take the overwatch. Then again, it might get away with it. Good job, spider drone. I'd love to be able to grab those things, but I don't think we're going to manage that. Kirsty, you can actually see a sniper over there. Ooh, look at that. How is the shot? It's not great, but if we move forwards a little bit, you'll be able to do it. Moving now. Let's get you one in first. Because the sniper is more of a concern than than the other guy, the heavy. It's unlucky. Really unlucky. Tuck in and back. Position. And that'll be fine enough. Kick. I think I'll step you out. If I step you out too, you might be able to take a shot down the side. Or we can onslaught someone else. But I don't think that's going to help much. Online. Before I forget, Becky, get your decoy out. And yeah, just get a couple of shots off down here. That was that was a l very low shot, very low. I'm not convinced that the angle I'm going to want from here down there is is going to work. I don't want to move towards the chap over here because it's just asking for more trouble. Especially because Sinedrian is going to move first. Perhaps we'd be better off moving forwards and doing it that way. If we're going to move forwards, I want to move up through the building, though. You might get sniped coming around that corner, so let's do it in two parts. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Okay, that'll be fine. Xavier, you are where you are. I think we're done. Well, that's a waste of Overwatch. An extra waste of Overwatch because we didn't even uh, utilize it well. Is he actually going to go after the pure? No, he's not. Took some damage. I mean, it's it's nice that there is the programming there to say, "Hey, target the decoy," but. When it's a three-way fight, I think it needs to be better distributed. Another defender falls. Okay. 
We might be able to get some side shots on this guy. There's still so many targets. And the, the civilians really aren't gonna aren't gonna do that well. So up on top, what can we do that is applicable? We can maybe get a grenade on you. That's that's gonna help. It's not a bad position actually. Uh, and then we can hop down so we're ready to like move in and start grabbing stuff. Channel open. Kirsty. What is your shot like? It's not amazing, but we can move forwards, get a better shot, and then move back. Moving now. So we'll come across. Acquiring target. Take the nice solid side shot. Nice. Good if you could retreat out of there. But loud and clear. I understand why that's not possible. This is going to be right in the way for where I want to be shooting. We can come across a bit and maybe get angles to do a bit more. If we onslaught up top, it's not going to be enough for us to get another shot. Channel open. We could also do some like shotgun blasting, but at, at the kind of ranges we're talking about, it's going to be really inaccurate. But it is an option. I think honestly, trying to take out the guy. Heading out. Whose shield is right there is is what we're going to have to do. So we'll step across. We'll do a quick aim. We'll try and kill the heavy. That is so unlucky. And then we'll uh, we'll step back into cover over here. Now the heavy can can see us down that line, but that's not much of a worry. We could potentially do some plink plink over over this way, but I'd rather save the ammo because that is that is just in the way. So who who oh, is the next five. most useful? Vickers can't see there, can see there, can sort of see down here. Let's go for the more accurate sniper rifle. It's not much in it, but give it a go. Hey! One more problem gone. Becky, you are probably best off recovering so we can get a decoy out next turn. Sibby, I'm going to bring you out here so you can be a little bit of a distraction. I'm prepared. Aline, you can finish this guy off. Yeah, we're going to want to get closer before doing it. Look into his eyes as you put him down. Oh, no! oh! It's a shame, but it had to be done. 
And yeah, we can bring you up to this Here corner actually. Let's do this. Might be ending up like plink, oh, plink, plinking, by. but that's okay. Mario, we're gonna bring you Got forwards and we can put a decoy out with you. I think given the position of everyone, putting a decoy over here might be the best. Kind of far away from everyone that we care about. Right, this Sibby needs to move. We need to kill you, we need to kill you, and there is another person on this side. So actually, let's get the Sibby to scout. All right, that tells us enough. We can we can move Xavier up. Not really to the point where we can like overwatch around the corner, but we're in a in a better position from that. And I think we'll we'll leave the watcher AT where it is. Good luck, Sinedrian <laughs> Defender. Please don't shoot the decoy. Please go after one of the pure. <laughs> you shot your own civilian. Escalating aggression. Ah! And now you're going to die from this heavy. Oh no! Our decoy is keeping you alive just a little bit longer. <laughs> Two snipers and a heavy left. And the Sinedrian defender, but he's really not going to last long. Are you coming inside? What are you doing? Oh, you're going over that way. The defender lives for one more turn. Unexpected, but always welcome. What was that? If we want to get another grenade out, I hope this helps. can we do it over this end? Sort of. Like we can, we can aim to hit the ceiling, which might cause damage. Reduces armor. I'll take it. I'll take it as a win. Now, in terms of actually getting the stuff inside, sure. It's going to slow us down a little bit in the future, but that's fine. Right. The turret can see, so the turret can shoot. Even at this range, a little bit of shredding damage is always welcome. And it's not much of an effect, but it is still an effect. Ready to fire. The angle here is actually pretty good, so two quick aim shots. Maybe even an armor break on top. Gotcha. Got me in the torso. Ha! We'll do the armor break and we'll do it like this. Couldn't connect the shot. Cause it'll it'll help. I'm here. Bowl. That is a good enough shot for us to take, I'd say. Going after the arm would be ideal. See if you can hit it. 
Yes! Another threat disabled. That is, that is really quite huge, actually. I am incredibly happy about that. We need more decoys to draw fire. So, Mario, you can recover this turn. Becky, I think I'll move you up and put a decoy over to the side. Now that one threat has been dealt with. Put decoy over there. And I think you're, you're pretty much going to be stuck doing what you're doing. Okay. Aline... It's not nice, but this guy is not helping us. So, use what ammo you have left on him. That is really not accurate. Okay. Ready to engage. It helps a little. Good shooting. Or good enough shooting, I should say. Hick. Knowing that we have this one to target, step on up. Hope I can find cover. And see what angle we can get. Go for this. It'll probably hit the shield, but you might get lucky and hit the torso. Oh, or the leg. I will take any extra damage at this point. That was that was stonking. Ready, sort of. Savior, I think we're gonna have to move you in with a plan for for this one. So he could barrel on through, which would be pretty dangerous. You can't go on Overwatch with that gun. His positioning is actually really frustrating. How's his... So he's lost He's lost some head armor. That's possibly the best thing we can do to, to take him out then. If we back up for this turn, actually. Let's, uh, let's get okay. behind here. We can pull the civilians... out of immediate harm. That might encourage him forwards. And maybe we'll get another bomb on him or something in the future. Ah! <laughs> ah! Totally, totally killing that decoy. Right, where are you going, E? There goes the Sinedrian Defender. So, we have one sniper that can fight, one sniper that can fight who's nearly dead, and one heavy who cannot fight. And yeah, on the retreat, there goes Vickers. Let's see if the turret gets lucky with a plink. Not quite. Well, we hit the shield. From up on top. I think the sniper is actually going to be the more useful option. There we go. One less to worry about. One target left. So 
So we can step round, we can take a shot. We can get a grenade on him from above by stepping okay. out. And going grenade over the top. Yeah, let's say aim for it there. Good shredding. Mostly in the head. Love Ready. to see it. Sort of. Fair bit in the torso as well, so this is actually pretty solid potential damage. Uh, we'll step back. And now it's more a question of like how much how much stuff do we want to try and save for loot. Uh, Kirsty, we can move you quite far. You are full of stuff. Isaac is not quite full of stuff. So let's, let's back up. Let's share the load. You know what? We'll, we'll do it that way. So you're lighter. Civilian at this point will just get you out. You're not making things better. You're not making things worse, but... Yeah, you know, you've already taken a couple of blasts for us, so you've done your job. Uh, you're better off just waiting. You're better off just waiting. All this loot on the ground needs to be explored, but Becky also really wants to go after the big crate. Arms online. Mario, you've got a bit of space left. What we'll do is we'll move in. Ready? Ish. You can grab the stuff from Becky that she's got. Including the pistol. And we'll move Becky in hard for this. Go to Do there. You can then get a decoy out, which will hopefully distract this guy. Step forwards a little bit and put a decoy nice, nice and in the open. And then we'll move you I'm on the move. slightly different place. Hick, in case this guy comes around this corner, I think we'll just overwatch this way. I mean, we can bring you Watch in out, ready for in. looting. And bowl, I think we can actually start moving you up as well. Let's roll. So hopefully we're gonna gonna start picking up um, extra items. Uh, ow! That is not what I was expecting. So, you were stealthed. It was unfortunate that it went after Bowl rather than you. Really sorry, Mario. You took one right in the face. I'll, I'll be okay. Let's um Let's put a decoy down and then we'll just step you away. Xavier, you can get a shot off on this guy, but it's it's starting to get a bit sketchy, is what I'm thinking. What Up on that? top, another grenade. That's looking better. We'll uh, we'll do Becky next because we've got some looting. Not as much stuff as the previous one, but still worth having. 
And I think I'll just tuck you in here so you can run out next turn and maybe grab some more. We can definitely move up this turn, but I don't know if we're going to get in a position to grab anything else. Uh, standing by. Ready. Malin, grab the extra ammo. Yeah, we we might have to just say this is this is going to be the limit of what we can get out. With Xavier, if we do get in close here like this, we can get rid of the sniper rifle. Actually, 88, 88 damage. If we can hit him in the head from this range, we could probably kill him this turn. And if we can't kill him this turn that way, we can onslaught. Yeah, we, we can get him done this turn. So if we're getting him done this turn, what other looting can we do? Hick can come over, but not close enough to grab anything. That's a bit of a shame. But I don't think you've got ready for... No, you do have ready for anything. So you can actually get between both of these. And grab them. Yes. 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 Better than nothing. I need... Xavier, we're going to get you to here. Trying to aim. In the head, we'll finish it off. In the arm, we'll be good enough. Yes. Did. And he dropped a gun, but we're not going to get to pick that up. But we've successfully defended the haven. Three sibbies left alive. It's a bit of extra XP. It's not, not the amazing defense I was hoping for, but with so many pure, I think we did okay. And Aline got a level up, so it's all good. So, Sinedrian like us more. That's that's good. Hell of a lot of materials. A lot of loot recovered from that. Generally, very happy. We did need to spend quite a bit to replace our stuff, but overall, net positive. Uh, we're going to have to finish up there, though. Uh, unfortunately, we are out of time uh, for this episode. I think we will move up to Phase 2. It would be good to give um, Mario a little bit of rest after having had his face blasted off. Uh, let's mark this as being explored. Uh, so Mario's going to need to rest. Uh, we obviously have uh, the Thunderbird and other things being built and plenty of stuff going on down here. So we're not going to um, we're not going to lose track of our current objectives. Uh, we'll very quickly do the level ups before we uh, we finish up. Xavier, you get ready for action. Well worth it. You get bloodlust, and we'll give you a history of violence as well. And I think that might be everyone. Okay, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. See you soon.